Ms. Beto, you are back again. Two years ago, you appeared in court with Mr. Bolton to prove to him that he had fathered your daughter, Ileana. Let's take a look at your previous court appearance. During the time you broke up and you left him, did you sleep with someone else yes, without I using protection? I did, I did. The doctor that uh, gave the procedure to deliver the baby, he handed me the baby and he looked at me. He said, are you sure this baby's yours? And I looked what? at the doctor. I looked at the doctor. I'm like, what do you mean? He said, because this baby's white. We have friends and family come over to see the baby. Then looking at the baby like, oh, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Is she yours? <laughs> when it comes to the paternity of Ileana Bolton, Mr. Bolton, you are her father. Oh, uh, I can't you these things, but what I tell you... Will you marry me? Yes. Oh, oh yeah, and it's pretty. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. So, Ms. Beto, why are you and Mr. Bolton back in court again today? Well, Your Honor, because to begin with, that engagement is off. I, um, I, I'm not going to marry him like that, let me tell you. Uh, once again, uh, we have some issues in our relationship with infidelity, okay? Um, and it comes back to me. Yes, it does, because we had another child. I got pregnant while we broke up, and um, I got pregnant around Thanksgiving when I was with him. I went to the doctor. I was feeling sick to the emergency room, and they told me, ma'am, you're six weeks and six days pregnant. Um, we were broken up pretty much the whole pregnancy. Um, but when I had the baby, he was there. I was there with the baby, but at the same time, we was broken up a little longer than that. Yes, we Wait, were broken uh, up for quite some time. We were broken up from, like, July of that year. We decided to spend Thanksgiving together as a family. So we conceived the baby together on Thanksgiving evening, I Thanksgiving believe. Thanksgiving evening? You weren't with me you at the You doubt hotel? that, Mr. Bolton? I seriously do. I why? Seriously okay. do. If, if you, if you mind, Your Honor, can I step to the Eagles so I can show you why? You have an exhibit? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, please, let me see. All right. <sighs> Look at the evidence, eh? Your Honor, now, she said we was broken up since October, whatever, we were broken up. We was broken up longer than that, January, July, matter of fact, of 2015. So you can see the months right here in the weeks. October, November, October, November December, December, you say broken up. Broken up, not together. Probably seen each other a few times because we do have a daughter. In January, we got back together. When January came, she told me she's six, six weeks pregnant. Six weeks pregnant in January, we've broken up for already 90 days. Don't take a rock science to figure this out. <laughs> it don't. It really don't. So, in your estimation, you couldn't be the father because you all weren't intimate that's... during the window of conception. Is... Yes, yes, Your Honor. That, Ms. That's, that's how Vito, I feel. what do you have to say for this evidence? Oh, that's cute. But, um, no, that's not how it went down. We were together on Thanksgiving. Yes, we weren't together, but go ahead and tell the judge. We hooked up, did we not? We weren't hooking up besides us being broken up, Rico? What, just a... Mr. have Fulton, family we day with the kids? Up? Have family we day with the we... kids? We... So, wait, up? were you or were you not having sex yes, during we were, the time you were broken yes, up? We were. Not we were every day. Not, not every, every day. week. No, not okay, at all. Okay, but did you? Yes, we did. Between those months, it's probably like maybe three times. Okay, Maybe. well, it just okay, takes if once. If that. Your Honor. But you don't have that on your exhibit. Exactly. Because, <laughs> now, like I said, it's not me standing over and waking up in the morning getting some breakfast. I'm doing this. Well, you, it don't delicious. take breakfast to make a baby. No, You're it right. doesn't. But you the don't night need before. to have breakfast. But the night before. This is what I'm getting at. The night, the night before, you know what I'm saying, we, we made relations, whatever, and I'm leaving. I'm not staying over. You, know, you don't even need to spend the night right. to make a baby. That's where I'm going. No, you don't. But even still, what I'm getting at is this. From July, October, whatever the case may be, we've been broken up. I feel like, you know what I'm saying, she's been still cheating, cheating, messing around with her ex-boyfriend, honestly, my personal opinion. How do you get this How do I get this? I mean, look, say that. I want you to present... Oh. You see this right here? This is a duffel bag. This duffel bag right here in my house, my townhouse that I brought so her and my daughter can live. I'm looking for a USB charger for my phone. I go into this bag here. You see this piece of paper? Do you see it? Yes. Ma'am, Your Honor, this piece of paper right here is a love letter for her Satan, November 24th, 2015. She still love her ex-boyfriend. You know, she, she still love him. And when did you say that letter was dated? It was dated in November 24th, 2015. To be exact. Right around Thanksgiving? Right around Thanksgiving. The time that you said you were broken up, but she said you all slept together. Exactly. Miss Beto. Were you writing letters to your ex-boyfriend? Yes, Your Honor, I did. I would like to see it. Jerome, can you hand me that crumpled up? Just let me have the paper. All right. 
You submitted a recreation of this, of how all these pieces came together. Yes, Your Honor. And in that letter, it stated, I love you. I wish we could go back to being a couple. Yes, Your Honor. Did you write that, Ms. Beto? Yes, I did, Your Honor. She admits to writing it. Yeah. Yeah. And because at the same time, who's gonna be with somebody? Every time you try to be with them, they keep telling you, okay, the children ain't mine, this ain't mine, that ain't mine. All right, then, brother, I could also, go be somebody else's that wants to be with me. Your Honor. Your Honor. Here's another reason why I doubt Rico's mine. This woman has a tattoo on her arm that she's been lying about since we met. I, I told finally, the I truth. finally found out the truth I about this tattoo. The ta when I first saw, met this woman, she Your told Honor, me that yes. this tattoo was yes, her I name. Did. It yes, belonged to her. Yes, Years I did. go by in this relationship. Guess what? She guess what happens? Guess I find out it's this dude that she still trying yes, to reach out and to. I'm the chasing. one that told him. It's, oh wow! Right? You still chasing this man, right? I'm not chasing that little him. boy. Who's it? Miss Speedo, you stated that you all were intimate during Thanksgiving. I wasn't intimate with that guy, though. So, I if I wrote a letter... But you're anything, writing a letter to this guy saying you wish you could be a couple again. Yeah, I do. You know that if he read this letter, he would think that you wanted to be with that guy or with this guy. Also, of course he would. Your Honor, but why would I be with somebody who's constantly year. telling Father's me Father's Day last year, 2015. With I'm with her. Her and my daughter. Guess who's calling the phone? The we same man who together. got that tattoo on her arm. We were not the name. together. Now, I'm chilling with her and my Thanks. daughter at her friend's house. Who's calling the phone? Why you ain't picking up the phone? I recognize the number. Because I recognize I have the number. Respect what for I do? My family what I do? Pick up the phone. What did I do? You did not pick up the phone. I reached out to this man. Me and this man had a face-to-face -face conversation. And then go, well, hey, bro, we really need to talk. He said, what's up? I said, here's my address. Pull up. He said, give me a minute. Now, we, he came to talk to me about her. Your girl keeps calling me, bro. Why is she calling me? I don't know why she calling me. But let's be honest. I mean. <sighs> Let's be honest. This did is... he ever tell you that he slept with me? Yeah, no, he, yeah he did. He told you. Yeah, he, he told did. you that. Yeah. Yeah, I... he did. Okay. Did he tell you he that, really or did, did you? No, he didn't. He really Your did. Your Honor, I know he didn't because what he did. What did he say? <laughs> what did he say, Mr. Bolton? I guess she was pregnant. You know what I'm saying? They had sex. No, 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 no. That's a lie. That's Let a me lie. tell you, I'm a lady. Okay. All right. That's a lie. All right. I'll... Even you know, came I'm not out your own mouth too now. I say that in court. He even came out your own mouth, your too, Honor. now. You want to put it out there? Your Honor, he no, came no, out no, your own no, mouth, no, too, now. Nah, no, no, you're lying. Right. And it never came out of my mouth. So you ain't, you ain't tell me you ever had sex with nobody while you was pregnant? No, I didn't. Who did I say that about, Rico? You know what? I, I can tell you what. How if childish is it to somebody can I make a petition for a lot of tests? Test? Honestly, can I make a petition for a lot of detective tests? Yeah, use a lot. Because that would really solve a lot of things. No, I'm not going to take no lie detective tests. Bro, you know who I am. I don't know who you are. You know exactly who I am, and that's your problem you because of who you are, because of what you do behind closed doors, because of how you are. Prove to the world that you're not cheating. Proof to the world that I'm not cheating. So, listen, so what the uh, people Ms. Beto and Mr. Bolton, wow, if you all would have had conversations like this and really got everything out, maybe you all could have We did have forward. conversations like this. So why don't we move forward ever? Because he's childish. He wants to know, was I cheating? Was I cheating? And even I told him, I told him, like, you know what? You constantly talking about this, that, and the other, right? You make me think about this man. And what, what he doesn't realize is it broke my heart because, so yeah, I did him. love him. I loved him very much. You still do love him. So, Ms. Beto, let me just ask you this. Because you speak very passionately about this other man. Are my you friend. in love it's with okay. him still? I was in love with him. Are you still and you're going to love who you couldn't have sometimes. And every time he says something about the tattoo, yes, I think about this man because and I messed that relationship up. Yes, I so do. So now... Just being a woman, like, anytime I come here... I'm a woman and I say the truth, okay? Rico is 11 months. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. This is your second go round in this courtroom. Are you neglecting him mm -hmm. because of this doubt? Yeah, Honor, I'm not neglecting either one of my children. I treat Rico just like I treat Ileana. Matter of fact, when he was born, he was born like basically stillborn. He had an umbilical cord wrapped around his neck. He was born with a purple face. The doctor had to stick something in his throat to bring him back to life. When he spit up all that little am uh, amniotic fluid, whatever it was, no, I fell in love. No, I'm, I'm proud that he's here. So since that day from the hospital, even inside of the hospital, I signed a birth certificate. I followed that man around. Each, every room the doctors took from the ear check to, to, to the vitals, all that. I'm there. I have here the evidence that he signed the birth certificate. Yes, he did come. And if that was the case, then why did you do this? Let why me see that evidence. And, and um, even still. Well, hold on, hold on. Yes, Your Honor. Hold on. You signed the birth certificate. Yes, Your Honor. You said you fell in love with the child in the hospital. Yes, Your Honor. But you feel like because you were broken up and she slept with someone else during the last breakup and you found the letter, you think she was sleeping with the ex as well. Yeah, yeah, Your sure. Honor. I would have told Look, you, And this, this is the reason. I would have admitted. The man is light-skinned just like her. Rico got, you know what I'm saying, funny, colorful eyes just like his mom. But the light skin, the nose, you can't really tell because the man has a fat nose like mine. 
You know what I'm saying? And look at Rico, he has a little, nice and little, little small little fat nose. So I can't really tell. So my doubts is going from the conception up until the little tattoo, up until the love letter, up until the phone call on Father's Day, up until the point where every time we break up, she reaches out to this man. I mean, you know, you choose up on the man, you choose up on him. But I don't want to be a part of your life because you still love him. It bothers me just to see you all in this state because the last time I saw you all, it was such a joyous occasion. We thought we had gotten down to the bottom of the paternity issue. You had gotten down on one knee and you all were getting married. No, I and now you're here. Mr. Bolton knows in front of all these people that I've put up with a lot in this relationship because so, at the end of the day, the one thing I am is loyalty. And if you catch me, if I told you a lie, I was trying to protect you. I honestly protect you. So wait, are you giving now, I told him a lie, but every time you would catch me. No, I'm not giving permission to lie. What I'm saying is I tell you why I lied. I told you why I lied about the tattoo. I told you why I hid the letter and I told you the truth. Yeah, I love that man. I loved him hard. Like I love you and I kept trying to love you, but you me. keep pushing me away, but it's cool. How are you gonna love me and somebody else at the same time? Rico, you can do that. How you gonna sleep with me and somebody else at the same time? Yeah, basically what you did. Okay, that's fine. You know what, how you feel is how you feel. I'm not gonna prove anything to you, all right? I know, you just gotta find out what's up with Rico. Okay, that's fine. Find out what's up with Rico because I know who his daddy so is. So basically- I know what I do with my stuff, thank you. That's, that's your business. If these business. results come out like they did the last time, that Rico is in fact your biological son, do you wanna work on this? I don't think we really can. Oh, yes, oh, yes, really? yes, yes, really? yes, really, really. Oh, okay. Let's go to the results, Jerome. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Moment of truth. Look, these results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. Whatever. Do you want the results? I don't care. You don't, don't you don't care for the, the results? I care, I care the results. about the results. Oh, okay, I just want to know. I, I, look, I don't I'm know. I'm just really upset, Your Honor, because I hate, like, every time we come here, like, you know, it, it, it comes to the woman. It always comes to the woman, like, so harshly. But we, we but it's okay, you know what I'm saying? This, this will not make or break me. No, no it does l- l- let me, let me get ahead. this. No, 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 no. I'm tired of the soapbox you're on. I'm letting you vent because I feel like when you're in a relationship with him, you never feel heard. So that's why you just But I'm gonna tell you something. When you don't take a breath, when you just don't pause for a moment, I know men, I've been around enough of them to know men just tune out, baby. I believe you did love him. I do believe he cheated. I do believe you all went through a lot of nonsense in this relationship that you didn't deserve nor you wanted. But I also believe you got a thing for this other one. And I said, listen, we're listening now. It's not about being harsh on you. It's about women understanding that when there is a paternity question, unfortunately, his outside sexual practices that may have contributed to the destruction of your relationship, they don't have bearing on the paternity question. I know. That's just biology. And it's your third time here. Yes, Your Honor. We gonna get you a robe if you come back here next. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) See, because from where I sit, I am seeing a cycle here. And all I see are people and kids flying and miles running. So as you, whatever, I'm sick of this and all of this. Well, no, you know, it's easy to say that when you're angry, but the truth is, is this baby is too valuable of a person. To have his father going through life giving him a side eye because he found a love letter that his ex-fiance admittedly wrote to her ex. And when you wrote that letter, you weren't thinking about Rico because now this man that has been there for the birth, given him his name, signed the birth certificate, now he got one eye up like, well, we had to come before because she slept with somebody else on a break, admittedly. Maybe she slept with him on a break again. This is a cycle. Let's stop this right now. Please. In the case of Beto versus Bolton, when it comes to 11-month-old Rico Bolton, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Bolton, you are the father. Otra vez, no? Otra vez, right? Why? Because I'm a Dominican. I'm not gonna lie to you. 
He may be my son, but I don't still take away the fact you've been cheating. Right? Okay, listen. Right. Thank you. Let's focus on the baby. Yep. Let's Thank focus you. on the baby. Thank Let's you. focus on the baby. Yes, Sean. It's obvious from today's court session, you all are not ready or prepared to be in a relationship. During an emotional situation, you asked her to marry you. I thought you all were gonna do the work and get this thing on track. You did not do the work. It is not on track. Let's just focus on the one person that really matters, and that's Rico. That's right. Thank you. you all gotta figure out at least how to talk about him. Ms. Humphreys, you are in court to prove that Mr. Mosley fathered your two-month-old son, Tyler, while he was separated from the mother of his children. Mr. Mosley, you say she's going after the wrong man and that she should be pointing her paternity finger at her ex-boyfriend, Mr. Cook, because he's the baby's father. Yes, Sean. You say this paternity claim by Ms. Humphreys has put your current relationship and your whole family in jeopardy. Yes, Sean. So, Mr. Mosley, what is riding on today's results? Me and Ms. Robinson been together for a minute, had rocky ups and downs in our relationship. If this is our child, then, you know, she gonna leave me, and I don't want her to leave me. Were you in a sexual relationship with Ms. Humphreys? Yes, I was. Was it during the window of conception when Tyler was conceived? No. It was Honor. not, in your estimation. No, Your Honor. Is that true, Miss Humphreys? No, Your Honor. It was. Because at the time when I got conceived, we were sexual. That was like the end of August, beginning of September. Were you having sex with anyone else during that time? Yes, Your Honor. You were? Was that sex also unprotected? Yes, Your Honor. It was. So why are you so certain Mr. Mosley is your child's father? Because, like I say, we were sexual when I uh, found out what day I conceived. And that was like the August, I mean, the end of August, the beginning of September. But you also were having sex with the other guy during that time as yes. well. Do you consider him as a potential father as well? I mean, he could be, but I was more sexual, Mr. Mosley. You were having more sex with him? Yeah. But you do understand it only takes once. Right. All right, Mr. <laughs> Mosley. Do the dates add up in your mind as she says she was intimate with you at the end of August, beginning of September? Is that true? Your Honor, I'm not gonna lie to you. I wasn't even paying attention. I was there for the sex. So, I, I don't know. You know, I just did it. Okay. This too much talking for me. This is all I'm saying, Your Honor. You see my beautiful kids right here? I'm not saying this young man is ugly, but come on now, come look at the pictures. You know? I mean, that don't matter, I got, I got light skin. Y'all see this? I got it light skin. It don't matter. Children, so, you're you know. saying that your children look like you. And you're saying that you don't look anything like Tyler. No, I don't. I mean, look at you. Look at my children. They got my same chin. They got the, the big cheeks like me. Not only that, they was by the same woman and they still don't look like her. You know? And that leads you to doubt. Yes, a lot of doubt. Okay. And then this has also put your relationship with Ms. Robinson in jeopardy because you've got this baby that's potentially out there that you could have fathered while you all were separated, but yes. I'm sure in the separation it wasn't part of the protocol for you to no, have wasn't. a child. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. At the same time, well, all I can say is this. I feel like it's her fault, too, Your Honor. Uh, she should never broke up with me. She should never broke up with me. If she never broke up with me, I would never did what I did. Oh, so it's Ms. Robinson's fault. <laughs> Hey. Ms. Robinson, this is all on you. I'd like to hear from you. So, Mr. Mosley says this is all your fault. No. This... this would not be happening if you had not left him. So, you can blame yourself. No. This is his fault. This is his fault and this is her fault. And my thing is this. He's been doing things with women. This, this is the pinch of it compared to what I've been going through in the last seven and a half years. She was one, we got into it because she contacted me. Out of all the people First that he messed, out, out of all the people, Your Honor, that he messes with, she contacted me. She left me a message on Facebook, Girl. tell my lying baby daddy, um, oh, he can see this with your line behind. Yep. So I had, I mean, you on my page. Yes. I didn't contact you. So Girl, you've been saying yes, for all do. this time that this is his child. So we, me and him, are bickering because of this. You brought me into this. <laughs> I had nothing to do with what y'all had going on. But, but you, you kept involving no. yourself. Why? Ladies. How does she know what I'm saying? Ladies. Ladies. 
Let's 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 calm down. Look, she always got you do time. understand why Ms. Robinson is so upset. I they don't. have two children together. So you don't think she has a reason to be mad? No, I don't. And why? Because she knew about this. You felt like, like she I knew? Not. Yes, you did. I did not. I won't be sitting up here saying Wait a minute, Miss Humphreys. She you said did. she knew about your relationship? Yes, she did. No, it's on did Facebook. <laughs> she blocked me on Facebook. Like, she plays both men. That's what she's doing. Okay. She's Why are you mad? Both, she's playing both sides. Why is this she's telling your one man, she telling one man he's a father, then she's telling him he's a but father. But I know who the And she just sent me your honor. Mr. She um, just sent me uh, a week ago on Facebook that James is not the father. Call me on my Because you name. keep doing this. Stop Let me see doing that, this. Stop trying to be all up in my business. You put me Tyler in that don't empty don't to you. on that. This is a post. Yes. From that Facebook. Posted, that she posted on of my course. page. Of course. Why would I think anything different? No, that's the only way. It says, to satisfy your curiosity, he's not my child's father. Please get that through your thick skull. So you basically said in this Facebook post that he's not the child's father, but you're saying you only said that. Only because she keep running her mouth. I, I don't, don't want her in a picture of nothing. You do admit there's another man. Uh-huh. You, you admit to that. Yes. And you slept with him during this window, but you just said you were sleeping with, with Mr. Mosley Moore. Yes. And it's your testimony that you don't understand why Ms. Robinson is all up in arms. I don't. Because she knew about the relationship. Right. Was it your understanding that they were on a break as well? They were not together at the time? Yes. So in your mind, you were sleeping with an available single man. That's it. So, Ms. Humphreys, what is the nature of your relationship with Mr. Mosley now? Um, we still sexual. We still, like, we friends. Oh, so you still having already. sex <laughs> with Mr. Saying? Mosley now? Yes. But Mr. Mosley... <laughs> I can see by the look on your face that she's telling the truth. She's telling the truth. So you still have sex with Ms. Humphreys? I have, yeah. And still going to continue to once this is done. Yes. See? Yes. Drama. No, it's the truth. And you say that without any reservation. Yes, I am. Uh, but you uh, stand here saying your family's on the line. You don't listen, want Miss Robinson to leave you. Listen. But you saying you have sex with Miss Humphrey. Listen. Listen. Uh, Your Honor, I love Tamika, all right? Okay? I'm not in love with her, but I do love her. Okay? I used to be in love with her, but, like, I kind of drifted off. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I, I wasn't... I never had a father in my life to actually teach me certain things. And I know I shouldn't put this in the picture. You know, my mother taught me characteristics of a man. She never taught me how to be a man. You feel me? But you making babies and then you denying and you don't want to take care of the ones you have. That's the thing. Take care of the ones you have. You going back and forth. So I'm right, confusing you, you now? No, I'm definitely fear. confused. <laughs> Definitely confused. And a big, huge state of mind of confusion. And I'm so, tired. So, ultimately, you say you, you say you love Miss Robinson, but you're not in love with Miss Robinson, but you want your family with her. You want her to stay with you. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Because, I mean, things change. I, I, I never know. I might change, but you can't fault me. You know what I'm saying? Nobody can fault me for the way that I am. You know what I'm saying? No. Let me say something. Because I find this very interesting. Because I have heard, as I have counseled, represented families, men, women, as a family attorney, I hear so often, you know, men, they don't talk. They don't... They, he just doesn't talk. No. He won't talk. He won't say... He's talking now, but y'all not listening. He's telling you exactly how he feels and how he's going to operate. Hey, don't get me wrong. I feel bad, but at the same time... I don't... I, I, look... Of course no. you feel bad. Mr. Mosley, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to, f to figure out that you are a little bit lost and a lot conflicted. We get that. And then the problem is these women actually sleep with you. They keep sleeping with you. She knows you sleeping with her and she knows you sleeping with her and they both know you probably sleeping with somebody else. All right, Jerome, I'd like to talk to Mr. Cook. Can you please escort him in? Look here. <laughs> Mr. Cook, thank you for joining us today. 
So do you believe you are Tyler's biological father? To tell you the truth, I, mean, I do not know. <laughs> I mean, I would love to be his father, but them two, they, they perfect for each other because they both liars. Yes. They both liars. Yes. They perfect for each other. I'm a liar and I they came both from both liars. They both are liars. I told both of y'all from the beginning. Liar. Both... He a liar too. <laughs> So I, know, I ain't a liar, though. I'm real, bro. I ain't a liar. I tell too much. I tell the truth too much. The day I went to take the DNA test, I see him and he told me him and Shanita haven't been having sex in months. But I just heard y'all say y'all having sex. Mm. So how could... Who, what is where, this? Where's that? Where wow. You all have not had sex again at all. No, ma'am. Ooh, Lord. That, Jerome, check, <laughs> check that plate. Because you know sometimes people think it says boo-boo the fool, but exactly. it doesn't. Exactly. It says Lauren Sorry, what Lake. you want us to lie or something? Let me tell you something. You all know you all lying. Both of you can't even keep a straight face. <laughs> it's so obvious. If they ain't having sex, why she calling them baby daddy on Facebook? Yes, y'all liars. Yes. Y'all yes. baby, baby, baby daddy, baby mama, I love baby you, daddy, baby daddy, I love, I love you, baby, baby mama. mama. That sound like okay. both of y'all. Like both what is your point? Let's get That's some baby, order. Bro. Let's get some order. Mr. Cook, have you been in the child's life? Yes. You have? Yes. What have you done for Tyler? Um... I bought Tyler stuff for his baby shower. I was there when Tyler was born. You were? Yes. At the hospital? Yeah, but he wasn't there. He wasn't at the baby shower, neither. When, Shani when Ms. Humphreys told me she was conceived, which was September 1st, we eliminated Mr. Mosley from even being a candidate for being Tyler's father. So in your mind, he was ruled out? Yes. And it was between you and who? I don't know. I don't know. Did she tell you you were definitely this child's father? Still to this day, Just she like still she would tell knows. me that I'm this child's father. Day, it was James. Now, no, my now thing it's definitely is, years. I don't so know. So wait, Miss Humphreys, are you telling him that he's the child's father? And you're telling Mr. Mosley he's the child's father? Mm. Wow. But I'm the only one that's doing She's something for the child. She's not lying now. She's telling the truth. I'm the only one doing something for the child. I, so, Mr. I Humphrey, keep Tyler why Gordon are you... Why, why is that your approach? Because I was having unprotected sex with Mr. Cook and I was having unprotected sex with Mr. Moley. But you didn't tell either man that the other one was a possibility. I did. You did? Uh-huh. Well, he says you said Mr. Mosley was not a possibility. That's after the fact I ruled out... But I'm smarter than that, Your Honor, because I found <laughs> video <laughs> on her phone of them having sex at the end wow. of August. So... Wow. I don't... It don't I can do what I want. I'm not saying That's that your you can't. You keep so I can. I ain't no trouble. I don't get no whooping at the end of the day, okay? Matter. You get no whooping I don't. by I I do no not. Whooping child's father. I don't. Years. That's the whooping. You getting your feelings hurt. That's what it is. They perfect for each other. They are. I know they, they are. hurt. They are. I know. They are. I know. And I if, know they and hurt, if it was somebody girl. that you cared about, your feelings would be hurt, too. I care about that one up But he ain't got no other babies coming into the world right now. You know that. You all talking about this whole thing like it's, it's a game. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, re it really is shameful. I know what it feels like to have a father. And I know what it feels like to not have a father. I just lost my father a year ago. Mm. You know, she wasn't there for me through none of this process. Instead, she was satisfying Mr. Mosley. Yep. Yeah. And he satisfied the whole her year. while I'm going through stuff. The whole year. So while you're grieving the loss of your father, you're saying Miss Humphreys wasn't there to support you, but you're there to support All her time. and Tyler. All the time. With, with every bone in my body. I just had Tyler the weekend before we got here, y'all. Because I had to threaten you. You don't even know if I'm his daddy for real. It don't. <laughs> you just said I told this man that it he's don't. the daddy. Yes, and now don't. you gonna put all the responsibility on me? Yes. What you mean? Because I spent, I come out of my pocket, like spent my money you for don't. you and Tyler. Because I threatened what you. What you mean? Everything you did, Nate, I had to threaten no, you to you do didn't. it. No, you if Jack did. Jack, you know, why no, you gonna hit me? All right, all right, all right. Then you heard that from the beginning. All right. At the end of the day, it is painfully clear that Miss Humphreys, you have Two men that think they're the father of this child, potentially. Two men that were there around the time the child was born. We just need the results. But I don't see it, John. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. Ms. Robinson, I know this is a lot for you. If you need to sit down, it's up to you. I know out of everyone here, this matters a lot to you. It does. In the case of Humphreys versus Mosley, 
when it comes to two-month-old Tyler Humphreys, pertaining to whether his biological father is Mr. Mosley or Mr. Cook. It has been determined by this court. It has been determined by this court. His biological father is Mr. Cook. Congratulations, Mr. Right. Cook. Thank you. I thank you. Does it feel good to finally know for sure? Mm-hmm. And now you know that everything you've done for this child has not been in vain. And I can just, I can feel your spirit as you sit next to me that you want to do the right thing. You desire to do the right thing by this child. And that's why you were doing the right thing by his mother, even when she wasn't doing the right thing by you. Ms. Humphreys, when I read that result, your reaction was interesting. It was as if it wasn't just that you didn't expect it, it was that that wasn't the result you yep. wanted. Yep. Mr. Fye, you have petitioned the court for paternity tests on the defendant's two children two-year-old Nathan and eight-month-old Samuel. Additionally, you have requested a lie detector test for the defendant because you claim her infidelity has not only created paternity doubt, but has destroyed your relationship. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Henney, although you've admitted to cheating in the past, you say you have no doubt that Mr. Fye is your children's biological father. So, Mr. Fye, tell me how important these results are today. You know, Your Honor, these kids, they call me daddy every day. And, you know, it kind of hurts me because as they got older, the kids don't look like me. They do look exactly like they me. They don't look like me. I mean, Nathan, he's got different futures than what I have. And, you know, little Sammy, he kind of looks more like Nathan, too. They both look alike. And, you know, little Sammy's got my full name, except for he's the fourth. And I don't, I don't think it's right. And so you claim that her infidelity in the past has caused you to doubt. Yes, Your Honor. Explain. I was gone away for 45 days. And when I came back, people, even friends, told me that she was messing around with a guy from the neighborhood. We were not messing around. That's not what my friends told me. But when I confronted the gentleman about it, he came, you know, I was on the phone with him, and he told me they did mess around twice. Oh. Well, when I confronted her about it, she denied it, denied it, denied it. So I had him on the cell phone. And then when I confronted her with the cell phone with him on it, she started crying. And then she admitted to me she cheated on me once. So you did admit that, Miss Henny? Yes, Your Honor. You cheated on him while he was gone? One time. One time. <clears throat> More like four It only times. takes one time. We know that in paternity court. Right, but this was about two months before I got pregnant by him. And so... <laughs> You're saying it was not in the window of conception. Right. Mr. Fye, you don't seem to be buying that. No, Your Honor. Why? Because I've caught recent text messages in her phone of her talking to her ex-boyfriends. And, you know, we've been together for six years on and off. And every time we've split up, we wasn't even split up a week or two and she was already messing around with some other guy. All right, so you have doubts surrounding both children. Let's talk about Nathan first. Explain to me why you doubt. I have an oval-shaped head, okay, Your Honor? My ears are close to my head. He has a block head. Like, I mean, a block head. I mean, his ears have a dip in them. I don't have none of them. You... Um, I'm sorry, but I have dips in my ears. He has my ears. I don't have big ears like he does. His sticks out more, and he has that block head. I don't have a block head. Mine's more of an oval shape. Like egg... So, you're saying your head is an oval shape? Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> That's why you submitted this. And you're saying Nathan has a different shaped head than you. Yes, Your Honor. And you say his ears don't fall like you. Yes, correct. So you're saying because of the way his head is shaped, he is not your son. Correct. I don't think he's mine. So are you saying the other man had a similarly shaped head? Yes, Your Honor. Really? Yes. 
as Nathan. Yep. And right. you've seen this other man enough to be able to compare? Yes. He used to be a close friend of mine. Oh. Miss Henny, how did you end up sleeping with your boyfriend's close friend? Our kids hung out. When he went away for that 45 days, we were hanging out with our kids and it wasn't, didn't start out that way, but it's just one thing led to another and... 45 days is only a month and a half. Yeah. So were you all in a good relationship when he went away? I mean, not really. So bottom line is, is he was gone and then this friend was over with the kids. One thing led to another. You say you slept with him. How many times? Once. He told me twice. He confessed this to you? Yes, Your Honor. I suspected them messing around because I was gone and him and his girlfriend had split up right before I left too. But when I asked her, she told me, oh, I went over and set up a play date. I told her, I didn't know setting up a play date is what you guys call it nowadays. <laughs> because I mean, cheating on somebody, I mean, that's not a play date unless it, you know, a play date for adults, but not right? for kids. And then when I confronted him about it, he was like, yeah, we messed around twice. Let's go to your doubts around Samuel. Little Sammy, I, me and her were split up at the time. And it came down to it where she was telling me, oh, I'm out with my friends. But then again, she was with some other guy. Mm -mm. And it's the same guy that I think was Nathan's dad. No. That's not true? Nope. So you believe Samuel and Nathan have the same biological father? Correct. And you think they're both your friend's kids? Yes. And Miss Henny, you say that's not true? It's not true. But you all were broken up, so were you seeing somebody else during the time? No. No one at all? Nope. You're lying. So you didn't cheat on... I did not cheat on him. At all? No. She's lying. And why do you know she's lying? Because, I mean, the guy told me he messed around with her twice already. Oh, and you... And... Because he said twice. You think yeah. it's... And, I mean, he... She's never lied to me in the past before. And then when I was, you know, when we split up, that's who she ran back to. Three weeks after him and her, him and her you know, got done, me and her got back together, and that's when she said she was pregnant with Sammy. There was like a two month difference between any pregnancy and me cheating on him. There's no way that any of these kids are not his. If he doesn't think they're his kids, then I have their birth certificates that he signed. I'd like to see those. Jerome? She cheated on me four times, Your It was Honor. not four times, it was one four time. Four times? Four times. One time. So these are the birth certificates for the children. The first, Nathan James Phi. Father's name, Samuel John Phi the third. The second child, Samuel John Phi the fourth. Father, Samuel John Phi the third. So you presented these birth certificates to show the court what exactly? That he signed those saying that he is the father. Did you children. sign them or did, was your name <laughs> just listed by the mother? I, I signed them. You know, my father has always been in my life. So I figured, you know, I don't want to be, you know, denying these kids. So this signature above your name, that is your name? Yes, sir. Not just typed in, but signed? Yes. And you admitted that you actually executed these birth certificates? Yes, Your Honor. At the time you executed them, did you believe you were the biological father? Well, Samuel John Fida Fourth, I had signed the paperwork because when she had him at the hospital, I had signed the affidavit sheet because me and her was talking about names. I had to go downstairs and take care of some work business and when I came back up, she already filled out the name and everything and shipped it out. You're the one that told me to name him that. I did not tell you yes. to name him that. So you're saying for the child that carries your name, Samuel Phi, the fourth, you're saying you didn't give her permission to no, give not, him that not name. No, for his name. We really? were discussing two different names at the time. And then when I left to go downstairs, that's when she filled out the rest of the form and she gave him my name. Was the reason why you didn't give her permission to use the name explicitly because you had doubt? Yes, Your Honor. I had doubt that he wasn't mine, so that's why I didn't really want to give him my name. And then me and, and her, we, we talked about it. it. No, we talked about it, and then we come up with, like, two different names, and we were going more with the other name than this name. And she ended up doing that when I went downstairs to take care of some work. When he went downstairs in the hospital, Miss Henny, did you take it upon yourself to just give the baby his name? No, Your Honor. It was his idea to name the baby after him to keep that name going on. So, Mr. Phi, you signed the birth certificate, so what's the big deal about your name? You're well, still the legal father. Today, if I find out the kids ain't mine, I want 
you know, Samuel John Fida Fourth. I want his name taken from him. And Nathan, I want my last name pulled from the birth certificate. Ultimately, you claim if the paternity test doesn't go your way and you are not this children's biological father, this relationship is over. Correct. Or if the lie detector proves that Ms. Henny is not telling the truth. Then it's done between us. Then the relationship is over as well. Correct. Ms. Henny, were you in a relationship with this other guy for a while? No. We were not in a relationship. And you still <clears throat> contend you only slept with him that one time? Yes. It was more than once. No. Four. There's four times she cheated on me. Four times or no, one time? One time. I've caught t several text messages in her phone of, you know, her talking, talking to, to her a friend ex is not no, cheating. Her ex boyfriends and stuff like that. Like, oh, I had a good time, stuff like that. That's not, you know, I don't play that. Tell the court, how has this paternity doubt affected the way Mr. Phi treats the children? He treats the f kids just fine. It's just when we fight, he throws that in my face. Well, how do I know these kids are mine? He just makes comments like that. But you don't treat the children any differently, Mr. Phi? No, I love them kids to death. But I mean, if they ain't mine, like I said, I want Sammy's name taken from him and I want Nathan's last name taken. Well, and I don't want to be in no relationship with her no more. But really, I mean, is, if you love the kids so much, is that what's in their best interest, you believe? I mean, she knows if the kids ain't mine, she knows I'll still be there for them kids, but it's just, I don't want to be with her. It's just a repeated over and over thing for her. And she thinks that it's just fun and games. And I'm not, I'm no fun see, and games. See, none of this is going to have to happen, though, because when you see these results... Well, we'll find out. You'll see. And when we find out, if it comes back that I am the kids, his father, and you told the truth, I'll apologize to you. But Good. other than that, I don't, I'm done. So tell me, what is the relationship like now? Do you have any trust? I mean, it doesn't sound no like you trust, trust Miss Henny too much at all, Mr. Fye. Yeah, I don't trust her at all ever since she's I can't even me, go I to can't... work without having to text him and call him on every break, the whole break, now, see, my that, whole lunch. That's a lie. She, I can't even go to work without... She does that without... to me every time I'm at work. If I don't answer my phone, because no. I'm a security officer, if I'm at work and I can't answer my phone, She's accusing me of cheating. Oh, wh which girl are you with today? No. I'm at work. I even no. sent her pictures that I'm at work. That's what he does to work. me. I don't do that to him. I'm usually sleeping while he's at work. This sounds like trust issues all yes, over the place. a lot of wrong. trust issues. So this is affecting the family? Yes. What have you done thus far, Ms. Henny? I mean, it just seems like he doubts everything you do. He doubts the children. Have you done anything to try to prove to him that these are his children? Yeah, I mean... I've with told him anything the, possible, anything you want me to do. When both of That's the boys... That's why I'm here today. When both of the boys were born... To prove to him, these are your kids. I'm not lying to you. We've been together for on and off for six years. If he didn't want to be with me, he could have did this a long time ago. Wait, listen, Your Honor. When the kids, when the boys was born, I asked her to establish DNA test right there at the hospital. No, you did not. She wouldn't And do you could have did that before you signed no, anything. But I sat there and I, I even told her, I said, I want DNA done on both of the boys. She wouldn't do it. Oh, I ain't got my ID. I'll go home and get your ID. You felt like she was avoiding it? Correct. That's not true. He was back and forth from our house to the hospital countless times. If he wanted to bring my ID, he could have brought my ID. So you have not been avoiding a DNA no. test? If I was avoiding it, I wouldn't have got it for this. So you are asserting that you only had sex with this family friend one time and you are proof positive, certain, that Mr. Fye is your children's biological father? Yes, Your Honor. All right, I'm ready for the results. Jerome? Yes. First off, we're gonna do the paternity test, and then I will get to the lie detector results. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Phi versus Henny, when it comes to two-year-old Nathan Phi, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Phi, you are the father. Who does it look like who? I apologize for that. Now let's see, let's see right. Sammy. Second result.
In the case of Phi versus Henny, when it comes to eight-month-old Samuel Phi the fourth, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Phi, you, in the case of Phi versus Henny, when it comes to eight-month-old Samuel Phi the fourth, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Phi, you are the father. Change what name? I apologize for that. Yeah. But we still have the lie detector test. Jerome, the results, please. Here you go. I've reviewed these lie detector results, and in light of the results, I would like to see you both in my chambers. Court is adjourned. <laughs>